Rapper Fat Joe said that Edgar Berlanga was more in shape for this fight than he ever been. But why the hell would any boxing fan listen to Fat Joe? Fat Joe is a rapper, not a boxer on top of that. His name is Fat Joe, meaning he ain't never threw a punch a day in his life. But Edgar Berlanga took on a fighter by the name of Patty McQuarrie. Never heard of him, but apparently the man is not a big star at all whatsoever. Everybody take a look at the room that Edgar Berlanga was fighting in. This room held about 300 people. Edgar Berlanga is not a big star at all whatsoever. But as far as the fight, Edgar Berlanga was in a back and forth war with Patty McQuarrie. I mean, Edgar Berlanga was getting pieced up. Take a look at the man's face. You could have swore the man fought David Benavidez or even Canelo Alvarez. But eventually, Edgar Berlanga's power took over the fight. He ended up dropping Patty McQuarrie, and Patty McQuarrie's corner threw in the damn towel. That is all it took. Edgar Berlanga got to stop his victory. First stop his victory in over two years. If that ain't the most fraudulent shit ever. I'm telling you, Edgar Berlanga was so happy that he knocked somebody out. The man started crying after this victory. Everybody take a look at Edgar Berlanga's face. You could have swore the man won a championship by the way he is crying in this video. He's a bitch. That nigga's a straight bitch. I wasn't impressed at all by Edgar Berlanga. But you know Edgar Berlanga took this opportunity to call out Canelo Alvarez. As if Canelo Alvarez would ever fight this clown. Y'all know I'm not a Canelo Alvarez fan. But if Edgar Berlanga does manage to get a Canelo Alvarez fight, I would be rooting for Canelo Alvarez 110%. Edgar Berlanga, in my personal opinion, is a disgrace to Puerto Rican boxing. The man is nothing but hype. Straight bum ass fighter if you ask me. Speaking of Canelo Alvarez, Eddie Reynoso, the worst trainer in the history of the sport of boxing, came out and said, that Canelo's legacy will not be affected if he doesn't fight David Benavidez. Which tells me that Eddie Reynoso knows that Canelo has no intention of fighting David Benavidez. So... Eddie Reynoso had the nerve to try to defend Canelo Alvarez. He said there were several fights in boxing that never took place. Like Lennox Lewis and Riddick Bowe. Julio Cesar Chavez and Terry Norris, Eric Morales and Juan Manuel Marquez, and that didn't stop them from getting into the Hall of Fame. There were other fights that, although they took time, ended up being made, like Mayweather Pacquiao. Among the fighters, there is no fear. We just hope that the conditions are met to face David Benavidez. Now, what does he mean by the conditions hope to be met? Is he trying to put a rehydration clause in the David Benavidez fight? Is Canelo Alvarez hoping to make a catchweight fight with David Benavidez? We already know that Canelo Alvarez fears David Benavidez. So if they are to make the fight happen, I bet ya, Canelo Alvarez will have a rehydration clause in the fight with David Benavidez. What a clown. I was born ready. And for some reason, Devin Haney fanboys were going in on Ryan Garcia today. We all remember a couple weeks ago where Devin Haney tweeted out, Ryan Garcia does coke in real life. These are facts. So today, for some reason, every one of Devin Haney's fans was roasting Ryan Garcia on Twitter. Ryan Garcia tweeted out in his defense, It is hilarious. Damn, bro, for real, bro? How many people think I do drugs and I have been tested randomly? I'm just me. People wish I do drugs for an excuse. I've only in my life ever drank and smoked weed. Cry me a river. They all feel more. We'll see. I don't believe that Ryan Garcia is a cokehead. I think Devin Haney is just saying anything to make himself look good and for shock value because we all know Devin Haney is a certified clout chaser. The only reason he is fighting Ryan Garcia is to get his clout up. The fight with Ryan Garcia means absolutely nothing. But it's funny how when Javante Davis fought Ryan Garcia, Bill Haney called it an exhibition match. But then one year later, Devin Haney fights Ryan Garcia. Make this make sense. Y'all some hoes. Y'all some hoes. And y'all know that clown Connor Ben, the man who once tested positive for PEDs, 
was coming at Javante Davis, trying to say that Javante Davis turned down $25 million to fight the man. Javante Davis posted a screenshot on Twitter. Javante said, 25 million where? As y'all can see, it is the email from Matt Truman Eddie Hearn. At no point in this email does it say $25 million. Capping as always, using Javante Davis' name for attention. Connor Ben is a clown. I'm gonna break your jaw, I promise you. Javante Davis told Connor Ben, I will beat the dog shit out of you, we all know this. I was just trying to be good for the sport and beat your ass in your hometown, but the spoon-fed white boy kept trying to cheat me out my money. We already ready to go to 40, bro. Then Connor Ben said, yo, calm down. I'll fight you in America. Tell Al Heyman to make me an offer. Of course, Connor Ben would want to fight Javante Davis when Javante Davis fights at 135. Connor Ben is looking like a whole clown right now. Javante Davis told Connor Ben, it's too late, dummy. What y'all people don't understand is that I don't need y'all. But you need to concentrate. You see, Connor Ben is no different than Devin Haney. Connor Ben is no different than Shakur Stevenson. Connor Ben is no different than every other boxing Twitter page, every clown YouTube channel who uses Javante Davis' name for attention. Y'all need Javante. Javante don't need y'all. Javante Davis is the face of boxing and Connor Ben is a former PED user. Javante Davis is the face of boxing. Meanwhile, Devin Haney, as he once did before, is fighting Javante Davis' leftovers. When Javante Davis fought Gamboa, Devin Haney fought Gamboa right after. When Javante Davis fights Ryan Garcia, Devin Haney fights Ryan Garcia right after. Javante Davis is the wave to follow and y'all clown just don't want to admit it. Tank Davis is the face of boxing and Devin Haney will never do over a million pay-per-view buys. Mark my words. He's not a pay-per-view attraction.